Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Sleepy Hollow Fireless Frontier Survival year number 3 is upon us. With that we are also just in time finishing the saw pit. Two people are going to work automatically in here up to a work slot of 6 and producing us planks that we're going to need for the market. Now my village has grown quite a bit up to 21 people that we have right now. A few kids, a bit of immigration coming in. My food stocks are well supplied for the winter that we are in. Though of course with increased population we need to make sure that food supplies continue to rise. Also more predator attacks have been upon us. Um, the bears are kind of like hidden here right now. But as we know they are coming again. Having injured a few of my villages so far. There is another one. This time it's a wolf and we are able to take it down. The carcass is lying around and can be harvested by my hunters. Which is happening right now. Oh, this seems a bit overly... <laughs> overly exaggerated there. Alright. One predator has been killed. No villager has been killed so far. But as we can see, more bears are coming in. You don't need to run away from this as it's already hurt. Oh, some of them already took damage. Of course, this is hurting us a bit because not only can my villagers potentially get killed by that, they are also not working for the time being. So these two are trying it again, but backing off once more. Perfect. We need to be really, really cautious with those attacks. Stomp it is working. The first planks I'm expecting soon. Also, my tannery has been finished. Two people is a bit over up the top though, right? Let's have one here right now working in that. Producing me now some hide coats that we're going to need, especially for the winters and blizzards and stuff like that. Consuming me a pelt and some water. Water, that's the, the tipping point here. We have more and more industry that will need water. So we need to monitor this one closely. If it goes, I think, below 50, we should probably build us another um, well that is. Now it is early spring, we still have cold temperatures, but it's a bit safer. I can actually tone it down here on the firewood splitter again. One should be fine. For this year, I would like to continue. First of all, let's continue with another road up into the woods and have us another hunting cabin. Because up here there is, as we know, some deer. Lots of them and I want to use them also, also for the heights and the tallow that we are going to need at some point. This is a clay deposit, yes. It's not an infinite one. It's very important to know the, this, the difference here. Up there we had a, an infinite sand mine. We cannot use infinite resources until late game. So we need to make sure that whatever we are planning, we can actually do. Alright, construction of the second hunting cabin has started. We might also consider working on a second fishery, right? Fishing shack. We could, probably can have two on this lake, as it's a pretty big lake. There's the road then, so here our industry zone is coming along nicely. And let's just make sure that we do have then here also the connection. So we can still add some more houses to this. Oh, this is not looking so great. Let's get rid of some of those constructions there again. Another villager has been born, Mael. She, he's called. And he's going to start his jolly good life now in my village. And yes, they're hard at work producing planks now. I might actually consider uh, adding a third one, especially since we do have the workforce for that. So we have still nine people available here for jobs. Um, and with that, we produce more planks. You know what? Let's actually make it up to four. It's just really that important. Now, another very important building soon will be a work camp for that. However, we do need a wagon shop. So I think that might be one of my next tasks, even though we can see that the waste is now accumulating in my village. That means we will also need a compost yard. There it is. This is pretty important because it's going to clean up the houses. It is also used as a fertilizer for fields. So we are going to have some fields over there at some point. And there's the village. So I think in between we could have the compost yard then just fine. As we can see, a really heavy dirty building. <laughs> so this is having a huge pollution effect. And we need to make sure that we are yeah, placing it a bit further away. Perhaps also the workers in the saw pit don't deserve that so close. So let's have it probably yeah, over here. I think that is a fine location for it. Let's build that. It's going to take a while because it needs planks and locks at the same time. Making this a very hard building to produce really or to build. Very 
Very good. The next hunting cabin has been finished. Let's get the work area up here to the deer. There is a tier 2 tier deer deposit now, or, well, hunting grounds. And we can also use traps in this area, since there might be some rabbits and stuff like that. The hunter is going to be quite busy and is already hard at work slaughtering all those animals. Getting that carcass back to the hunting cabin and then processing that into leather, meat and tallow. Yep, construction has begun. It's going to take a while. I also like how the planks, for example, are piling up beside the saw pit. And someone will need to get them then over here to my... Is it the storehouse? No, I think it is the stockyard. Yep, the stockyard where it's being stored then. Another wolf attack. Two of my villagers were, though, able to take care of this. They don't have weapons though, right? No, they were just able to take it down like that. Though there is also the hunter here with a knife and a bow. Equipped and ready. Now for us to build the wagon shop, we do need a town center tier 2. So upgrading my town center soon is going to be pretty important. For that we do need 8 shelters in total, 30 people living in them and a market. So these are my next targets then as well. Let's build this another shelter. With that we can complete this block of 4 houses. Uh, probably going like this. And also, what we do need is a market. Now we have some planks, so the market can be built. And as we can see, the market has a, an area of influence. So we do need to build it where it gets a lot of houses in. I think this is going to be a great location, as we do have then a lot of houses that we can take in. So we might actually just place it here. For me right now, efficiency is more important than aesthetics. So I would like to, to get as many buildings into the radius here as possible. Later on we can move those buildings freely around and can add some ornaments, which we are going to need anyway, because the game requires us to do so for higher desirability levels. As we can see, we have yeah, around 10, 11 there right now. These guys here are probably a bit too closer to the industry zone, so we might need to move some of those buildings a bit further away. Another shelter has been finished. With that we have the next requirement fulfilled in my town center. And the market is now under construction as well. Though there are some rocks here, and rocks take a long time to get rid of, so this is going to take some time. Alright, with additional housing, another child was born, Viana, and also a new settler named Ivala joined us as well. And Ivala is going to work right away, building me houses. Uh, we got 8, 9 people available right now in the job market, so they could be assigned to other things. Right now, though, of course, construction is priority of the market. We have 27 planks. Top it is working fine. And yep, let's continue chopping down some more trees as well. And as we can see, new trees are also growing then after some time. We also have some hide coats in store again. That's very good. This should raise my happiness for the clothing then at some point. There is the demand for shoes on top of that, so a shoemaker, a cobbler shop would be possible. Needs more pals, though we have 13 pals, so this is actually valid. Um, and yeah, I think with that we could build it, right? Let's have it like so, so that it kind of like hides the, the compost yard in the back then as well. And here we can then produce some shoes on top of everything. Yeah, they're still chopping down or cutting down those, those stones. Two more are left in that deposit. It's a hard job. In the middle of summer right now, very hot, but you can do this, Vittoria. Very good, now we just need some materials, like some stone and some planks. Yeah, let's make, well, let's finish that block over there as well, road block. And the compost yard has also been finished. Ivala, oh, the latest newcomer, is collecting waste now. And in here then, storing it in three blocks, more or less. And we can use these blocks then to fertilize farms. Right now, though, it's very important to get rid of the waste. Otherwise, it would cause pollution, it would cause sickness, and people will not be too happy with that. There's lots of waste already stored up in these houses. Also, that cobbler shop is coming along. Four more planks are missing. 
Ah, more people joined. Two more people. And also another one was born, Burhardt. And he's also living somewhere here now. Putting us to 27. That's very close now, right? We don't need the 30 here. But we would also need some 60 planks, so this is going to take a while anyway. And I think, yes, very good. Also here, the cobbler shop has been finished. Viana, also a newcomer, is working on that right away, producing shoes for us. Yeah, let's actually have a road going through that as well. And with that, it's mid-autumn. Another year is coming to an end soon. It's getting colder. We have 205 wood stocked, so this should be fine. And we got 13 months of food, so this is also fine. Thanks to that second hunting cabin here, we're doing exceptionally well right now with um, the food supply, right? So we are a bit lucky here, of course, with those two deposits so close to us. This is still going to take a while here now. Finally, we have everything and the market can be finished. There it is. And with that, we have now also a marketer that is stocking the market with goods. People can then purchase it at the market, pay up taxes for that. And with that, we are earning around four gold per month right now. This is going to be very important because, for example, the compost yard is already costing me some for gold, right? So we have a, a, actually a taxes income of eight right now, and the compost yard is already consuming four of that. With gold, we are also going to attract raiders soon. We are now year three. I'm actually expecting the first raiders year five. Might also be coming year four, but then the town hall should be doing a good job at protecting us. It's important, though, that we generate some gold finally, because we're going to need that soon. More of it. Oh, incoming travelers wish to join. Another six of them. Actually, that's more than housing would we have, so let's accept them nevertheless. But I will need to build another house, and I will need to do this soon, because as we know, winter is upon us. Let's have the next row of houses then, down here. Two of them, at least. And I might also... I think I also have now, yep, we have all the requirements for the town hall. I just need to wait on some planks now and then we can finally upgrade to tier 2. Extreme cold temperature right now, midwinter. Firewood is fine though, and so is the food. Happiness? Yeah, it's also okay. Shoe happiness actually went up again a bit. Thanks to also producing now in the cobbler shop. And we have two shoes in stock. And some herbs as well. This is important. 67 water. So I think water is going down. Yeah, we probably will need to build a second well now. Let's actually do this right away. Before we are running out of it. A basic well. And let's just have this one down here then. I don't want to get rid of that tree though. So let's have it over there. And with that much workforce, we can really finish constructions quickly. Having 10, having 14 available right now. There you go. This is enough housing again. I will probably need a bit more food production though. So let's have another fishing shack in the middle of winter. Uh, forager shack is probably my wanted one because there's also some willow here that we're going to need at some point. So let's build us that over here somewhere. Oh, wait a second. Actually, uh, let's cancel this construction again and have the forager shack behind the other ones here behind my other gatherers i think that makes a bit more sense so that we gathered this area we might also scout a bit finally so it's we should also focus on that a bit finding new resources along the way out there in the wilderness And yeah, there's also two more very important buildings that we need to finish, and that is the Fletcher building. That will produce us bows and arrows. So I can also squeeze this in somewhere here in this industry area that we have. That's 20 planks, which is quite a lot. And then we also have the basket shop. This comes in handy now since we have some willow here, the willow bushes, around the lakes especially. And with that we can make baskets that my villagers can equip, and they can carry more stuff than with that basically. So let's have a basket shop over here as well. Very expensive buildings, really. 
I might also assign some two more people to the saw pit. So we have now six people working in that. Producing me hopefully lots of planks. And with that, we have year number four. Lots of constructions right now going on as we continue to grow. A Fletcher building comes to light. Uh, with that, we are consuming once more logs. So we definitely should work on a way of getting more logs in continuously without having to chop down manually all the time. For now, though, we still need to manually do this. So they're just going to take it whatever they need then right up here we have lots of trees and there is a fertile area here and we might actually work on getting rid of more uh, trees here while well, we can because we need to do this at some point anyway uh, another predator attacks down here it's oh it's a wolf and Geldrin doesn't seem to be too happy he's very far away from any other villager what is this run away no he's too slow he's already heavily damaged and that's the end of Geldrin Dying as is. Why is there no one close by? We have a full village of people. And no one was close by. That's very unlucky. Now more of my villagers join. Let's actually move him out there again. Because he's taking damage. And down it is. Alright. But that was unlucky. Geldrin is still alive. But he would need a healer now. Unfortunately we don't have a healer. And we cannot afford it. So Geldrin is going to be my first death. <laughs> Sorry for that. At some point, it had to happen. Very unlucky of Galarin to be so alone out there. And as we can see, he's bleeding out right now. Doesn't take long for another predator attack. Once again, it's a villager out there without anyone else. So running away from a wolf is not going to happen. We need to fight and unfortunately, I think we're going to lose the next one. Yeah, we lost the next villager this time. Dying right away. There's no way for me to actually have saved her. Because she was out there completely alone once again. And there's a wolf. And the wolf takes care of the rest. Let's actually move three villagers over there. And kill that wolf. Because it would attack again. And it's already damaged. Losing two people is not easy. But that's life. There it is. Shows me also the importance of having more bows, of course. We do need bows for everyone, really. So let's continue producing that. We have only two, one bow available right now. We need to have more of them. Yeah, those two, of course, they're going to lie around here now. Geldrin also died. And they're going to cause diseases if we can't get rid of them. So I do need to have now something new, and that is a graveyard. Let's just see where we should have a graveyard. I had two villagers born, that's okay. I think up here in the in the mountain is a good location for it. It's a bit further away, of course, but we don't need to have that graveyard too close anyway. So let's have a graveyard here, right? In the mountains, in the hills, going up here, where we can bury the dead. Now the next forager is ready. Let's move him over here, and he can now also gather some willow then, together with cabbages. Let's make it a bit further up here, probably. That's looking good. And the basket shop is then waiting for the willow to produce baskets. I think there's no willow here, right? Oh, there would be willow. Hmm, I might actually consider moving that forager a bit further over like this. So this one can also get a willow, right? It's like a smaller lake that we have there, but that's okay. Food-wise, we're at 9 months food supply. 200 firewood. This is all fine. And the next well has been finished as well, producing us more water. And with that, also this well here has more water in stock again. Yeah, a bit of money comes in. 25 gold we have right now with a surplus of 6. What is a guard tower costing me anyway? So we might have a look at that. It's 5 on the monthly cost. So with 50 gold, once we have that, we can build our first defense tower then as well. Mid-spring, the winter is over, finally, and we have more time again to work on construction. Unfortunately, that is a graveyard. It is the middle of summer, extremely hot right now, only a light breeze. So if we would have some farms now, they would probably suffer because of that. Speaking about farms, I might actually prepare my first one now. Fertile area we have up here. 
let's go ahead and prepare the first one it's going to take a while though right to finish that so it's of course easy to start now mm, and let's have there a bit of a smaller one probably something like that we also need to get rid of a lot of trees here we are under no pressure though at the moment to finish this asap right so we have food and we have still more room to grow here with another fishing shack for example but of course we need to start on farming in the near future graveyard yeah going to take a while there still we have a pretty high slope here, pretty steep slope. That's a problem, though, of course, for any kind of construction. But a graveyard is fine in this location because I wouldn't know what else anyway in a slope area like this. Houses are not possible. I wonder what the corpse is doing under these temperatures. <laughs> it's probably not looking so great anymore. And there it is, a graveyard finished. And here are the people lying around have a pretty nice view over my village then from up here looking down on sleepy hollow a total of 140 people can be stored here so that's going to be quite a lot fortunately Now we do have 62 wood planks. Let's go ahead and start the upgrading of the town center. That's going to take a while, but um, yeah, I'm confident that we can finish this in this year. Let's actually prioritize that construction here above all else. And it's very close to my stockyard, so they, should, they just have to carry it over there. Stone, however, might be a problem. Oh no. Another predator. A bear. Let's go full in. All in with all my villagers. Uh, 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 uh. Let's move him out. They're so darn fast. It's incredible, but we have bows now. There it is. A bear is down. That's a great victory for us. And she, Anala, did the deadly shot. Our hunter, 52 years old, but still has a deadly eye. And of course, or immediately salvaging what you can get out of that corpse. Oh, that was quick. Look at that. Almost all the resources are in for that juicy upgrade. Just a few more planks. And there it is. And they just have to finish the construction now. Boom. And this is really a big milestone for us. Tier 2. Unlocks not only a lot of buildings, but it also shows that we can survive and thrive with Sleepy Hollow. The next upgrade is really far away, so we don't even need to think about that at this point. And with that, we can also now build the wagon shop. This is really cool because it's a workshop where transport wagons are manufactured. It is unlocking a lot of new resources or uh, industry buildings, and it is producing me carts or wagons that we need for transportation. So let's have this also a bit closer here. I think this is a good location that we might think about. Yeah, right? Or a bit over there. Let's have it here. That's 30 planks. It is not causing any pollution, so it's fine to have it a bit closer in the, in the center. Of course, once again, takes a lot of resources. Uh, yep, let's also chop down some trees. And we are at... F yeah, we should probably also build a few, a few more houses. Oh no, another predator. Out here. Come on, it's another villager caught by a wolf. There is no one close by once again. How can this happen so often? There's really nothing I can do to... to to do this, I can't watch my villagers all the time. So unfortunately, who is it anyway? Dristain will probably die. Yeah, but it looks good actually. Yeah, we can take care of the wolf. Perfect. Though, who? Irma took a lot of damage, but no wounds, I think. So she will survive. But it's, uh, it's really strange that they are getting caught alone so often. Wagon shop, meanwhile, has the resources and is being finished. There you go. There's also someone working in it again. Ivala. And she's going to produce us now some carts. And with that, another very important structure has been unlocked now. All my mines, clay pits, and especially the work camp. And let's start with the work camp. It is something that's not causing 
pollution, I think, or undesirability. Yet, of course, we still need to have it. Um, a bit further over here, probably next to my saw pit is a good location as any. And we have lots of trees over here for this next very important building. No one is stored here yet. They take their time with him. Don't want to touch him, I guess. While construction of the work camp continues, we have 50 golds. I would like to use this now to build my first defensive structure, the lookout tower. And this one, very important. Let's have this somewhere here. As we can see in its radius, it can protect quite a lot of buildings. The town hall can defend itself um, for the time being. So I would like to have that lookout tower somewhere here. For proper protection then. There you go. Cost me 50 gold. 15 stone and 25 locks. But it's going to protect my storage area. And since we're at the end of year 4, yeah, radar attacks could happen next spring. Yeah, with all the construction, it's hard for my workers to find materials. Locks are missing entirely right now because we consume it for new structures. But once the work camp has been finished, we are going to have a continuous supply of locks coming in. That's going to help us out. We have oh only three laborers, so that's going to be hard. We need at least four to staff that, so I'm hoping a bit more immigration will happen at some point. Also, I should really start on these new houses. Because people need to move in somewhere, and I would like to have them here then as well. Another block. As this year is coming to an end, end of year 4, late autumn, cold temperatures, and decreasing. And we continue onwards in the next episode to year 5 and onwards. Stay tuned!